I recently did a uh, kind of a tongue-in-cheek tip on how not to get out of a bunker, so I thought today would be a good idea to, uh, to be a little more serious and show you how to get out of a bunker. Uh, when we start out, one of the keys is that you got to understand your sand wedge. Your sand wedge is unlike the other clubs in your bag. It's got the bounce is quite a bit lower than the leading edge. And so that creates a skimming effect in the sand. And then when we open the face, the reason you see that in bunker instruction, uh, most of us will talk about opening or pointing the face more to the right, that effectively makes that back edge even lower. So we take the club and when the face is open, it creates a ruffling or skimming effect as it hits the sand. And then when we close the club face, which effectively takes away the bounce, now with the same swing, the leading edge catches and digs into the sand. So it creates a completely different effect in the sand. One is skimming, the other is digging. So when the club face is closed, you don't have much of a chance in the bunker. So you open the face. Then the key here is to develop a really consistent divot of sand. It's about eight inches long, it's shallow, and it's right between your feet. So we're gonna draw a line in the sand, and this line drill, we're not trying to hit on or past the line, we're trying to get a divot. If it's gonna be an eight inch divot, we want it four and four. So put this pretty much in the middle of our stance, and we get our divot to start about four and end about four after. So we get it to start about four and end about four after. So that line drill and that sound that you hear, it's kind of a thumping sound, uh, will develop the kind of divot that'll make you a good bunker player. So in bunker play, it's really all about the sand. Become really good at the divot and the ball has no choice. Now to get a feel for what happens to the ball, we take a ball and just put it on a pretty good lie here. And we call this the slide under drill. So when the club comes in, it hits about four inches behind the ball and then it slides under the ball. So the club's here, it's about four inches, enters the sand three or four inches behind it and it slides under the ball. And then that's what makes the ball pop up in the air. So then what we do is we start out and take all the pressure off of trying to get it close to the hole and just start out getting the feel. So we take a small swing and we let the club slide underneath and we look at our divot, it's exactly the same. The ball didn't go very far, but I wasn't trying to get it to go very far. I was just trying to get the feel. So on this drill, we're trying to get the feel. We're doing the slide under drill. And then we start to add a little bit of length and speed. So that time the ball made it all the way up to the lip. And then I do it again, I'd add a little more length and speed. If you look at my follow through, you see that my arms are staying very close to me and the club face is still pointed to the sky. Those are, those are really good keys to becoming a good bunker player. So if, if you can hit four and four on your line drill, you can do these little slide under drills and get the feel for it with the face slightly open. Those are the real keys that'll get you out of the bunker. So forget this stuff about swinging out and across uh, you know, lining up way left, hitting two inches behind it. Those have some form of truth in them, but left alone, they've hurt a lot of golfers. You want to develop a correct divot, get the sense of the club sliding under, and that's how you'll become a much better bunker player.